Exactly 11 minutes ago, Alibaba has rattled AI yet again. They have released this thinking model, which is not only a mixture of expert model, but also comes up with lot of innovations. Just this month in July, Alibaba has released Quen 3's new version, Quen 3 Coder, Quen Code CLI Agent, Quen 3 July Thinking, which you can see on your screen, Quen 3 MT, which is for translation, and WAN 2.2 for video generation. This is Fahad Mirza, and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am going to present you the most thorough review of this Quen 3's 235 billion A22 billion thinking model. I am going to keep it simple yet very very to the point so that you would know all about this model. Upfront, I am not going to install it locally unfortunately because this um, requires multi GPU cluster which I don't have at the moment. You know that I really love to install models but I can't in this case but normally I show you the online real-time thorough testing of this model. I have been checking Model Studio at Alibaba and also Quen Chat, but this model is not yet there. I have been frantically refreshing it to be very, very frank, but unfortunately couldn't really find it uh, as of yet. But anyway, I will keep checking. And in the next video, I will be sh sharing with you a thorough testing of this model. But don't worry, I'm going to explain what exactly this model is. And if this is the first time you are visiting the channel, please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot. So what exactly is this model? This is an advanced causal language model that represents a significant evolution in the Quen series. The model has been specifically designed to enhance reasoning capabilities, making it particularly suitable for tasks that require deep and complex thinking. Now, if you don't require a deep and complex thinking and you're looking to use a Quen model in production, don't go with this model because this will take long time to produce answer. This is mainly geared towards complex business, enterprise, research, and these kind of complex problems. For day-to-day -day tasks, I would still recommend you go with this existing model, which is the, again, the same model, but without thinking. You can even go um, with some of thinking in this model where you will just select this model and then uh, you can just start thinking with it. Now, I have asked some of the Quen team if this thinking in this model is the same as the thinking model, but I haven't got the response. So I am hoping that the thinking model would be a separate one with thinking in the name. But, you know, a couple of people are saying that if you just select thinking, in the prompt, it is basically a thinking model, but I'm not going to go with it until it is confirmed. So first and foremost, the key feature is the improved reasoning performance. The model shows state of the art performance on various uh, reasoning benchmarks and tests, which I will also show you shortly. It includes logical reasoning, math, science, coding, and academic benchmarks. These enhancements make it competitive with OpenAI's latest model, Anthropic's latest model, and it has left behind a lot of Chinese models at the same time. Now, if you don't know what this thinking is, thinking simply means that what happens behind the scene, the model streams thinking tokens until the number is reached, which is specific to the tokens architecture, and then it shifts to answer tokens. So this is an autoregressive stream, and in this model doesn't search anything. This model also provides you an explicit control over thinking and answers the um, phrases in some sort of a behavior focus. And that is what makes it a bit different. Also, the test time inference or the time scaling in order to produce the answer is quite long because it thinks deep and it thinks long. Another thing beyond reasoning is that the model excels in instruction following, tool usage, text generation, alignment with human preferences, and this versatility ensures that it can be applied across a wide range of use cases. 
The context length is quite generous. It has around 262,000 tokens and the model can certainly handle extremely long sequences of text. They have also shared some of that benchmark in their GitHub repo, which you can access from their GitHub repo page. Also, it has got increased thinking length. So you can just um, make it think for long, as long as you want, quite customizable. So if you have a very, very complex reasoning task, this is quite a suitable model for that. They have done pre-training, post-training as usual. The total number of parameters are 235 billion, as you can see here, but the activated uh, parameters are 22 billion as shown in this name. So A22 means that activated parameters are 22 billion, whereas total are 235, 2507 means the month and year. Number of total layers in the models are 94. Again, it uses uh, attention heads for or grouped query attention. So 64 for query, Q value is 4. And number of experts are 128, but only 8 experts are activated. It only supports thinking mode. It doesn't support any other mode. So this is one thing which makes me believe that this is not the model, even if you enable the thinking, because this model if you disable the thinking, it uh, thinks without, uh, you know, it is responds without the thinking tag. Now let's look at its benchmarks. This is very interesting. So if you look at the GPQA, which is a benchmark that evaluates the model's ability to answer general purpose question. In this one, it, it has achieved a score of 81.1, .1, quite strong performance. It already outperforms its own, um, non-thinking version deep sea carbon and it was not able to beat google's gemini 2.5 pro and you know what this is really good that they have shared that information publicly if you look at amy 25 which is for advanced mathematical reasoning and problem solving this model has scored quite well 92.3 and it has beaten all the other models, including Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro. If you look at Live Code Bench, which assesses the model's coding abilities, especially in writing and understanding code, again, robust coding capabilities, and it has beaten everyone else except Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro. HLE, um, this benchmark tests the model's ability to handle high-level execution functions, such as planning and decision-making, Again, quite a good score and uh, was not able to beat Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro. Arena Hard V2, which is quite a reputable, again, uh, benchmark. By the way, HLE stands for human, uh, I think human's last exam, so humanity's last exam. Anyway, so Arena Hard V2 is um, a diverse set of benchmarks for challenging tasks. And again, the model has beaten everyone else except this Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is uh, which is really, really uh, sensible and makes sense because Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro is quite good, but again, not open source. So you can see that the model shines particularly in ME25, which is quite good, but for general knowledge and coding, very, very well. But again, I think um, its improvement over previous versions are not that huge, which we were expecting. So let's not hype it up more. Um, HLE is very, very portrait. I think there is a lot of room for improvement there. And this is a very important benchmark, by the way. And this actually leads towards the so-called AGI. So I think they need to focus there. So overall performance, strong overall capabilities, outperforms many competitors. But um, I think it is not that groundbreaking as, the, as we were thinking since morning. I think... Um, or maybe you know benchmarks you never can be certain about them so let me make the final verdict when it tested whenever that is released on either of the uh, portals so but all in all you know very happy with the model um, results benchmarks and it's always good to have another competitor in open source open weight why not so also i want to introduce you to our good friend at camel ai 
Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. If you're interested in other Quen3 models, which I have covered in the last few days, um, please check out my channel, just search with Quen3, and you should be able to find heaps of videos. Thank you for all the support. The channel is nothing without your support. Thank you very much.